AITA for skipping my sister's birthday dinner with the rest of our family? My older sister turned 20 a week ago, and she had a dinner celebration on Saturday night. I, 16M, didn't go with my parents and my brother, 15M. I have another sister, 23, who attended, and so did both sets of grandparents, along with our aunt and uncle. I'm the only family member who didn't attend, and my paternal grandparents are really upset about it because it made her feel bad. I need to give some background. I'm adopted. My biological mother didn't want to be a parent, and I was supposed to be raised by my first dad. But when I was three, he got ill, and after a few months, he was told it was a serious illness. He didn't have family, being a former foster kid, and my biological mother wasn't interested in taking me, and neither was her family. So my first dad wanted to find a home for me. He wanted to be involved in choosing the people who would raise me. He wanted to be sure I'd be okay. So he worked with a social worker, and after meeting several families, he found my parents. They already had three kids, my two sisters and brother, and they were open to fostering or adopting. They really connected, and my dad knew they were people who would give me a good life. All three of my parents grew close before my first dad passed away. He made a box of letters, videos, and other little things for me, like his watch, to keep me connected to him. My parents always let me access that stuff, and I kept some of the letters in my room. About 18 months ago, a few of the letters went missing, and I thought I'd lost them. I freaked out, but my parents had copies. Then, six months ago, I found my sister, 20, destroying the copies. We argued, and she admitted she had done the same thing before. She said she hated that I held onto them so much and clung to that part of my life. She said I was supposed to be their son slash brother, but instead, I was holding on to someone who was no longer here. I yelled that I wouldn't exist without that person, and if it weren't for him, I never would have ended up with them. My parents weren't home, but my dad came home to us yelling at each other. He stepped in and asked my sister to leave when he learned what she had done. When my mom got home, my parents admitted to me that they only ever gave me copies of the letters and stuff, and the originals were all kept safe by them. They said a house full of kids never felt like the safest place to have them out in the open, and copies felt safest. Knowing the original ones my first dad actually wrote and made were still there was the best feeling. My parents were furious with my sister. I'm still not speaking to her. They're still mad, but she's their daughter, and I told them they don't need to stop talking to her, but please respect that I can't be around her, which they do. My parents got a lot of criticism for letting me stay home, but my grandparents also told me how wrong I was. They said I'm not giving my sister a chance to make things right, and I should be more understanding given the emotions involved in adoptive families. They said what I did was worse than what my sister did. Ita, 